Yo, what's up guys? It's True John B and I'm back with another unboxing video for you guys today. Now, you guys probably already seen a ton of these already since last week. And well, you're going to see one from me. Me and the wife went and caught the iPhone 6s today. Now, when we got the Sprint, they were sold out of the 16 gig models. Uh, 64 gig was sold out. They did not have any 5.5 inch iPhones. So we lucked out and we got two uh, iPhone 6s in 128 gig models. Now, this is my first iPhone with this high storage capacity. So I know I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy the uh, unboxing. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Let me know in the comment which ones that you guys had the chance to pick up. Uh, a lot of people didn't have a chance to pick up their iPhones yet because they're still waiting on them on back order. So that kind of sucks. But anyway, we're going to get right to it. Now, this is my girlfriend's box right here. She, uh, I'm using her iPhone 6 to record this video. But uh, this is her iPhone box right here. We're going to bring it up a little bit to the light. See, 128 gig. She did get the space gray. So, shouts out to Emily for that. She got the space gray. Now, it's something that Emily brought to my attention earlier, which is kind of true. And I was going to talk about it in this video. This year, Apple kind of dipped out on the design of the boxes this year. It's kind of like a little plain Jane, wouldn't you say? Just the iPhone branding on both sides with no iCloud or nothing. And you get this faint silhouette of what is inside the box, which is the iPhone 6. So, I mean, yeah, they kind of cut corners this year on the box. Why? I have no idea. So, I guess they, they figure a lot of people don't care about the box. They just care about what's inside of this thing. So, anyway, the box is plain Jane this year. Uh, the iPhone 7, don't know what that probably going to look like uh, next year. Well, the, the box, the presentation. But, anyway, it's still a cool presentation anyway. You get what I'm saying? But, um... You'll know this year, you'll know which color you got by, the, I guess, the color of the iPhone lettering. Now, I don't know how well it's going to come off in the video, but I got the gold. And if you can see it right there, the iPhone lettering is in gold. So, I think that's how you can know what color you got this year. And, of course, I, too, got the 128-gig model. Because these are the only models Sprint had in stock. The only ones, you guys. So, we're going to slide this one off to the side. If you hear my kitties in the background, they're here playing Fluffy and Snickers. No. If they make a little appearance in the video, it's whatever. But anyway, I'm going to get into this real quick. Because you guys have seen a ton of these. But, um, just for dramatic effects, I threw it back in the box. I've been using this thing for a few hours. And you guys, I got to say, I love the iPhone 6. But I'm not going to get into too much of you know the review right now because i'm gonna save that me and emily probably gonna come back and, give, and hit you guys up with a double take of the iphone 6 so stay tuned for that but anyway when you open the box you are greeted with what you brought and that's the iphone 6 and here it is in all this golden glory i've been instagramming since earlier my notifications are blowing up on me uh i've been tweeting and this is what the gold looks like, y'all. All shiny. Sorry about the uh, fingerprints. And you know, this is a fingerprint magnet. Right off the bat, it is a fingerprint magnet. But I got a microfiber cloth. I'm going to clean all that up. But um, this is what it looks like. This is the gold edition. And I got to say, you guys, I love the gold iPhone. Just check that out. Uh, one thing kind of got me this year about the iPhone that they moved the power switch from the top to the side Which to be honest with you. I do like it um, I had a bunch of Android's in the past So it's not something that I need to get used to now Emily for the other hand All day long today since we had these she was reaching for the top for the power button because she was used to using the iPhone 5c but um anyway the design, you guys, I love. This is really, really thin. If you have not had a chance to hold the new iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus, head on over to your local carrier, you guys, and get your hands on the demo units. These things are ridiculously thin and ridiculously sick in design. And you guys, I love it. So let's get on to the box. I'm going to just sit the iPhone right here. Now, in the box, you should get the usual, the Apple stickers, the little pamphlet and stuff. And basically none of that changed. All that's in here. 
uh, you do get the same ear pods, the same USB. Well, not USB. Shall I say the lightning connector? My fault. The lightning connector and your little power brick to charge it all up. So that's the usual in the packaging, you guys. Nothing special. Nothing has changed. But let's get back to the iPhone. This is what we're here for. This is the star. This is for the star of the show, of this video. Uh, I don't know. Is is it's thin? That's the only thing I can really say about it. It's thin. I have no trouble using this device. Uh, I have no trouble texting on this device. Everything is crisp. Everything pops off the screen. <clears throat> I love the screen display. So uh, let's see here. I'm gonna change hands real quick because I did set up my uh, Apple ID. And sorry about the shaking of the camera, you guys. Like I said, I'm doing this with one hand at the moment. And here we are. We're inside the iPhone. Um, I, I set up half of my apps because like I said I had an iPhone in the past so I set up half of my apps I did have mind you this is 128 gigs so I still have tons of more space to fill up if I choose to and which I probably would end up doing here probably in the next few weeks or so but um you guys this iPhone what can I say this iPhone is amazing it really is um, a cool little gesture that I that Apple threw into this thing. If you simultaneously double tap the Touch ID sensor, it'll drop the whole screen down that you can access the top row of apps. So you can use this thing with one hand, you know, one-handed uh, as a one-handed device. Now the iPhone 6 Plus, I had a chance to actually hold that for a while. And it's just uncomfortable. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but it's just uncomfortable. I guess because it's too tall to actually, you know, hold with one hand. Now, I did have the Note 2, which was a 5.5-inch screen, and that and that phone was basically phenomenal as well. But when it comes to the iPhone being a bigger screen, I look at it like, you know, they're playing catch-up to the day's Android game. And a lot of people here on YouTube are saying the same thing, that they're playing you know catch up but um like i said apple has a best seller on their hands with this one and i mean i really love it emily is loving the iphone 6 this is an upgrade for her as it's an upgrade for me now i have no problem with the ios you know uh operating system it can get stale at at points it can get stale but i find myself even on android that you know, I never really customized my phone like that. The only thing I think I customized on my Android was probably like the wallpapers and, of course, the keyboard. And now this year, that has been introduced to uh, to the uh, iOS 8 that, that you can change your keyboard. You can in install SwiftKey. And matter of fact, I will probably get into that in a future video if y'all want to see that. I'll probably get into that about what different keyboards you can install. So far, I have not installed any customs. I've just been using the regular Apple keyboard, if that's what you want to call it. But, um, you guys, there's going to be plenty of more to come on the iPhone 6 on this channel. So, stay tuned. If you guys want to see me and Emily do the double take of the iPhone 6, which we probably will end up doing because you guys love the Android, uh, what it was, the George Razor Max double take we did. I think it was like a year or a year ago. I mean, go down and, and find that video and check it out, you guys. I mean, people still watching that video that I've seen. So, like I said, if you want to see a double take of this, you know what to do. Just leave me that comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm probably going to be doing, uh, I don't know. I got some things coming up for you guys with this. Um, I got a couple cases I think we're going to get coming up. We're going to probably slide over through. Amazon and pick up a few cases. Shouts out to the big homie Flossy Carter. You know, he keep those cases on lock. I can't wait to see his unboxing and some of his case recommendations as well for this. Uh, if y'all have not checked out Flossy Carter, y'all, y'all need to go check him out. Follow him on the gram. Follow him on the Twitter. Also, y'all can follow me on Twitter. I'm going to leave all the all the, the uh, information down in below the description of this video. Um, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on the gram. Uh, Emily is on the gram as well. If you want to follow her, I'll leave her information too. Uh, if you want to follow her, sorry, sorry about that noise, you guys. It's my baby kitty. She having a ball in here with Fluffy. But um, 
anyway, I'm going to end this video because it's at the 10 minute mark. But uh, I just want to let you guys know that we are coming back strong with more videos. Uh, check out the rest of my videos if you have not seen any of those. Uh, leave a like, comment, and please, if you have not subscribed to us, please do so, you guys. We're trying to be bigger. We're trying to be better than before. But anyway, this is your boy, True John B., and I'll catch y'all in the next video. All right? Peace.